so it's uh, 25th of December 2020 Christmas Day it's 7 53 p.m. Merry Christmas Merry Merry Christmas 2020 Merry Christmas Merry Merry Christmas <laughs> I'm not going to say happy holidays, I'm sorry. I think Merry Christmas. I think that's what we're celebrating. We're celebrating Christmas. I don't like it. Yes, it's Christmas. It's not happy holidays. It's Christmas. <laughs> Even if you don't believe, I think trying to change that, uh, I don't think that's that really is Christmas really that offensive I think maybe some people don't like your skin anyway. I don't know anyway so <laughs> auto repair for dummies apparently this is very really good to teach you about mechanics so it's a good book look I've been reading a little bit the reason it's like this is because I put it on my bed and I go to sleep so but at least I'm making an attempt to read, which is good. Not only have I bought this book, I'm also attempting to read. This is good for total like beginners. It's pretty good. It's got good diagrams and explanations of things, and yeah, it's pretty good. So what, what I've read so far. That's all I'm saying about that. Uh, uh, yeah. I also got myself a mechanics like tool kit like 168 pieces like uh, ratchets and sockets and spanners and uh, I might have some kind of screwdriver bits I think DeWalt DeWalt this is the brand having said that I have also been saving a lot of money uh, you know I've saved up enough money for my What am I going to get done? Crown, yeah, that's like a crown. So I made an appointment for my, you know, for January 4th or something with, with my dentist to get a crown done, and that's like $1,400. So I've already saved that money, uh, saved up that money. I've also saved up some money for my uh, implant, and I've seen the doctor for us. So that, so that might be like 350 total. Uh, so. It's funny because when I was seeing my endocrinologist, my endocrinologist, do, <laughs> he's a specialist, uh, but he didn't charge me more than uh, the, the basic rate. You know how I was reading about that? You know how specialists can charge about the Medicare rate? But he didn't charge me about the Medicare rate. <laughs> he could have, uh, but uh, I, I think I could have paid him too. But he was nice in that way I don't want to take I don't want to take advantage of his niceness I mean I could have paid him but yeah anyway yeah maybe I should have offered to pay at some point I said that my, my GP uh, she she charges uh, well the new one not that the one I see he only takes the Medicare he doesn't charge about the Medicare rate but the uh, GP I'm going to see to get the implant done charges about the Medicare rate but she's also like not uh, you know she also gives concessions to people who are on social security I think well she I think she gave me his concession last time anyway so uh, so I've got to get a blood test done uh, maybe next month I think uh, so what have I been I've been just sort of I don't know I've been watching lots of mechanic videos car kind of car repair videos and gaming videos and uh, yeah I, I bought black ops call of duty black ops the latest version I, I think i bought it a couple of days it was on sale so i bought it and yeah i played a little bit of them in the morning so which well, i could play if i it wasn't that hard but yeah uh so I have to change the CPU cooler because my CPU gets a bit warm. 
I got a cooler a while ago, so I'm like I'm changing that. Wait, another major thing that's happening is like we have to move out of this house because I think I think as far from what I uh, from my latest understanding is that this house has already been sold, and uh, the people who I I think you know there were some people who were <laughs> keep on coming to the front of the house to look at it. I think because it's listed on the real estate uh, web page or whatever and uh so because I, th I never saw them myself and my mom and my brother said oh people will come to this front yard and look at a house and no one came in to inspect the house so i i think the uh, the thing is like someone actually just bought the land and they would they might probably break this house it was like it sold for 1.1 million okay this this land not even the house i mean i guess the house too but no one no one came to inspect the house so i think the assumption is that they're just gonna break this like you know just bulldoze this house down and build a new one but it's like 1.1 million just for this 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 lot of property it's like oh my god anyway so um we were like my, my brother's trying to buy a house so we were like a couple of weeks ago we were like uh we actually offered well you know he offered a price for this house apparently the house had a pool in it so i was like oh my god the house has a pool in it and uh so i was like oh yeah, that'd be nice and but um so he offered the price but then they had to do it do the contracts were exchanged and they did the inspection you know the building inspection pest inspection or whatever and apparently my my brother didn't like apparently the house was in, the, in that good of a condition and so my brother just you know, you know he just set off like you know and so we're not gonna buy that we were in the process of getting that house it's like a three bedroom house and it looked okay um so so that went that sale didn't go through um but you know uh, my brother's still thinking of buying the house buying a house because we have to move out of this house next year so the idea is i think he wants to you know, house so so that could happen next year you know i could uh, we can be moving well we have to move one way or another but we you know we, could, we might buy a house and we might move to that house or, yeah so so what about me am i moving out well i've got to save money first and um you know how anxious i was to move out and live on my own that that kind of Exactly. that kind of desperation is not I don't feel the same way anymore I've been more obsessed with cars and I've been saying <laughs> I want to get a car the reason I want to get a car is not because I want to drive around or anything I just want to get a car so I can have a car of my own and I can do them I can take the engine apart with that and do 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 you know, all this mechanic things with it and then I, I was just, I just I was talking to my mom like where are we gonna get the car? She says, like Stacy, we have a lawnmower. You know how the lawnmower? Uh, she like this is the one which wasn't working. I mean, she she bought another one, but the old one wasn't working, and she was thinking of like giving it away or something. Or I don't know what she wanted to do. But and I said, but I said no, I will, I will I will work with the lawnmower because the lawnmower is basically like a it's got a combustion engine in it. It's an internal combustion engine. It's got the it's it's got the you know it does the same thing a car does. So there'll be a good opportunity for me to <laughs> work on that lawnmower while uh, you know I save up money to get a car. I wonder if they will. Uh, my brother doesn't want to give me any money for the car. So <laughs> will my mom give some money? I mean, the car I'm looking for is like a, I don't want like I was thinking oh, I, will, I will get a, like a Toyota Hilux, which is like a Toyota truck pickup truck they call a, a, a ute they call a ute utility ute uh in here in australia but anyway but those are really expensive it's like it's a, you know anyway so i guess you can get a manual uh hilux for like five grand i saw some prices 
But anyway, so I was thinking, that's another thing. Do I get automatic transmission or manual transmission? And I thought, like, um, like in, in, in New South Wales, like, you need to have, a, like, special license to ride, to drive manual. But apparently, if you got your license, and, you, and your license isn't, like, a probationary one, you got your full license. And even if you did the test on an automatic transmission, you could still, there is no restriction on you to drive automatic once you get the full license so i can even though i don't think i've not driven a manual car but did the license i have i can i can't drive a man <laughs> the license is it's like it's not legal for me to drive a manual car i can drive with my license i can drive both automatic and manual and you know saying hey you know what maybe i'll get a manual transmission because the only thing uh, so far, I saw a video. This guy said the only, and, and also some. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I've seen videos on how the manual, you know, the clutch thing works. Uh, I, I need to learn more about. It. But the only, it's, I think, the way I understand it is in manual transmission. The thing in order to change the gear, you have to put the clutch, and when you put the clutch, I mean, you know, when you press the clutch down, the. Um, The, the engine and this other thing, which is, I think it's the, it's a drive train. Uh, so I guess if, if it's a rear wheel drive, it's like, let's say there's the engine here and the engine is, you know, giving the power. And normally when you don't press the clutch, the, um, I think, I, I don't know if it's the, tra I think the transmission is here and the engine is here. And normally those two things are connected. And that connection is called the clutch. So I think that, that when you when you put the foot down, that thing gets engaged. That means the engine is spinning on its own, and this one's independently spinning. And then you change the gear while the clutch is disengaged. And then when you lift your foot up, it goes back to engage again. So the way it goes is like whenever you're changing gears, you just put down, you know, press on the clutch and change the gears. So I guess uh, you just need to practice it to get the timing right, and also like you know put like practice, which is the first gear, second, third, fourth, you know. So I mean it sounds complicated, but I think the I guess the, you know if you if you have an automatic trans, if you got a license, you know how to drive, you know the signs and all of that stuff. That stuff doesn't change. The only thing between an automatic and a manual is the, like the changing of the gears you have to change the gears on your own you know first gear is like a lot of uh, i guess you, you could see it as a lot it, it takes a lot of torque is the right thing because it's trying to get the car going and the second gear you know okay it's, it's you know you don't need a lot of torque because the car is already moving and i think the third gear is is a bit full. i think the fourth gear is cruising right <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how many gears you look at. So some cars have five gears or six gears. So I think because it's the only difference between those automatic and manual is the gear thing. So I guess in here in, in New South Wales, they don't um, you don't need a special license. Uh, and most people are driving automatic. And, uh, you know, well, they don't test you. <laughs> well, it's, it's legal to drive. Yeah, as long as you have a full license, which I do, you know, I, uh, you know, I have a full license. I've had the full license for years and years now. Um, you can drive. Uh, come to think of it, next time when I get when I get my license uh, you know, renewed, I want to get a like a long year license, not like a three year or five year. Maybe I'll get a ten year. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, I was thinking maybe I'll get a manual because the, the cars that are on the manual transmission are usually cheaper for some reason. Um, I guess the clutches maybe wear out and they gotta get it. But then again, I, I, I have seen videos on how to change the clutch, so that might be an. So I've been, you know, doing more with the car and. Uh, yes, with the NDIS, you know, I try to engage. Uh, well, I don't want to talk about it too much, but things, I tried to engage a provider and um, that didn't work out, so I'm, I have to find another provider. Um, but I don't want to go too much of it because I don't want to deal with any legal issues.
issues, defamation, all that. I don't want to deal with any of that. I, I just can't deal with it. So, <laughs> so I've, I've been in, that was a bit of a stressful situation. So after, I want to find another, you know, I have to get that going. You know, I actually found a, a plan manager for the NDI, so that's good. Uh, so the, what the plan manager does is, <clears throat> So if, if, if someone does any, uh, you know, work for me or does provide services, uh, uh, they can send their invoice to the plan manager and the plan manager will pay them. So I don't have to do any of that myself. Uh, but if your India is registered, uh, like if the provider is India is registered, that the pay, I think the payment is automatic, but if they're not registered, they can send it to the plan manager. So, um, yeah, so also I just wanted to make this video to say Happy Christmas. Oh, Merry, Merry Christmas 2020. I hope that you guys are okay and all that. Uh, yeah, I might make a video for New Year's Eve, I think. So, Merry, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas.